Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this tech tutorial, we're going to teach you exactly and step by step how you can customize the Brave browser, for example, if you use it on your desktop computer or on your laptop, and if you're completely new to the Brave browser. So we'll guide you through this and show you how you can customize it according to your own imagination and taste, and that way make your experience with a web browser a really smooth and cool experience. So let us get started and dive into this. So for the sake of this tutorial, let me launch the Brave browser on my desktop computer. As you can see, it works perfectly and smoothly also on an older computer with Windows 10 as an operating system, for example. All right, so let us begin with the home screen or home feed here, or some may call it the dashboard here on Brave Browser. So launch the Brave Browser, guys, and start customizing your home feed or dashboard by clicking on Customize here in the bottom right corner. For example, guys, you may start with a nice background image. You may upload one from your device, like from a desktop computer or laptop, and use it as your background image or may use one of these background images from the Brave library. You may also disable the background image entirely by switching it off here to the right. So let me go with a custom image or photo like this one here. And what you want to do after that, guys, is navigate through these items on your dashboard, like for example, the Brave stats. These will indicate, for instance, how much time you spent on using the Brave browser, how many trackers have been blocked, how much bandwidth has been saved. So nice and useful stats, I believe. But if you'd like to disable these or turn them off simply, toggle them off here, show brave stats. Of course, you can turn on or turn off each one of these elements or items here on your dashboard directly. Let me just close the customization window here by simply clicking into these three dots next to the given element and by selecting hide the given element. In this case, you hide brave stats. So let me return to the dashboard customization. After that, you may select if you'd like to see, for instance, your favorite website or, or bookmark websites here on your dashboard by selecting favorites or be given access to a list of frequently visited websites or top sites that are suggested based on your search behavior. So for example, guys, you may enable these here in the top right corner and switch between favorites or frequently visited websites. And then we got also Brave News. You may turn these on as well if you'd like to stay up to date of the latest news in your region or from all over the world. Simply click on turn on Brave News here. And after that, you'll be given access to a list of news outlets and media. You may add to your list by clicking on the plus icon here in the top right corner of the thumbnail of the given news outlet to add it to a list of top sources or the latest news that will be later displayed here on your dashboard. Let me return to the customization. So you may do the same for your clock, for instance, and turn it on here in the top right corner, show clock and switch between a 12 hour and a 24 hour clock. Then you may use also cards. And last but not least, guys, Brave features also so-called search widget. You may use here at the bottom of your home feed. It works actually the same way as your search bar or URL bar here at the top in the URL address, but you may use it here at the bottom. And here under search, simply select your preferred search engine to use it as your search widget. So you may switch from Google to Brave or to DuckDuckGo, Bing, or back to Google or disable the search widget entirely. So that's how you customize your Brave browser dashboard or home feed. And the next step, let us take a closer look and customize the toolbar here at the top because as you can see guys there's also a lot of customization options available like for example you can enable disable various buttons like the home button the refresh button the button leading to the extensions management center opening the sidebar for example or accessing brave browsers very own ai writing or chat assistant called leo ai and so on and so forth so if you'd like to access these tools simply click on them or click on the home button to get redirected to your home screen so to customize these buttons guys click on these three lines in the top right corner customize and control brave and what you want to do after that is click into settings here and after that head over to appearance here on the left panel and here under toolbar scroll down a bit simply decide which one of these buttons or features or functions or tools you would like to enable by toggling them on or off here to the right so for example if i turn off the home button it will disappear as you can see and I let me enable it back again then you may enable for example the bookmarks button 
the Brave News button, the Leo AI button, the Sidebar button, and so on and so forth. So go through that list. Now, speaking of the Sidebar, as previously mentioned, guys, you may enable it simply by clicking on its icon or button in the top right corner. However, guys, there's also the option to, for instance, enable it by simply hovering a mouse over it. To do that, head back to your um, Brave Browser settings here, switch to Appearance here on the left panel and scroll all the way down inside that menu till you get to Sidebar. And here to the right, simply click into that arrow down icon menu to click or to select on Mouse Over. That will allow you to enable or to access your Sidebar simply by hovering mouse over the left edge or side of your display, as you can see now. The sidebar features functions and tools like the reading list, for instance, or you may add more tools to your sidebar by clicking on that uh, plus icon here and, for instance, get redirected to the settings of your Brave browser by simply adding that gear icon to your sidebar and so on and so forth. And last but not least, guys, you may also switch the position of your sidebar for instance, to see it on the left or on the right. And then, guys, you may also customize tabs you open here on Brave Browser. Now, opening new tabs is actually pretty simple. Simply click on that plus icon next to the currently open tab to open a new one. So that's basically it. What if you'd like to open two or more websites in two separate or different tabs at the same time? So basically a split screen feature on the same display. Well, it is actually fairly simple. What you need to do, guys, is simply right click on one of your open tabs. And after that, select new split view here. And that is going to open the given tab in a completely separated half here of your display to the right. And you may simply switch your websites or tabs position by clicking on these three dots here in the middle and by clicking on swap tab positions. Or you simply unsplit these tabs again, just like that to get back to the previous view. Then we got your bookmarks tab here at the top. As you can see, I haven't added any websites to that bookmarks bar yet, but you can do that anytime by simply heading over to your destination page. Let me, for demonstration purposes, head over to google.com and click on this button here to add the given website to my bookmark list. After that, assign a name to your bookmark. Let me leave it at or keep Google as a name. After that, you may also assign a bookmark folder. For instance, if you'd like to organize your bookmarks better and confirm by clicking on done here or remove the given bookmark. That's basically it. So as you can see now, that website has been bookmarked and listed here. If you right click on your bookmarks bar, guys, you may simply uh, hover your mouse over show bookmarks here and disable it entirely by selecting never or by keeping it always open. So that's basically it. You may also organize your bookmarks by accessing your bookmark manager and assign websites to different uh, folders in your bookmark or change the position or rename them or remove them, edit them, and so on and so forth. And last but not least, guys, you may also customize your browser's overall looks or appearance. To do that, head back to your browser settings and head over to appearance here on the left-hand side. And after that, decide, for example, what type of uh, interface colors you would like to use here in Brave. So, if you click on that arrow down icon, you will be given access to the dark theme, light theme, or same as your operating system. Then you may, for instance, choose a custom color theme here or download a custom theme or background theme from the Chrome Web Store, for instance. You may do that too. You may reset your browser background theme to default too. And then the final step, guys, let us also take a look at the interface language settings by heading over to languages here on the left panel. So here, guys, under preferred languages to the right, you will be given access to a list of languages you're currently using for your browser interface. You may add more of them by clicking on add languages here and simply pick your language from that, uh, from that list here by selecting that checkbox to the left and by confirming here on that add button. Or you may also, guys, move these languages or change their order here by clicking on these three dots next to the given language and changing their position by uh, clicking on move down or move up to make the given language, your main language, you may also set the given language as your default by clicking on these three dots here again and by selecting display Brave in this language. After that, if you change that language to a new one, guys, Brave will ask you to relaunch or to restart the browser so that these changes may be applied instantaneously. And that's basically it, guys. That's in a nutshell how you can customize your experience on the Brave browser, including the appearance, the toolbar, bookmarks, and the home feed or dashboard and that's basically it let's leave it at that and call it a day here i hope you enjoyed this tutorial video got some real value from it and we'll see you next time on our channel